Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today we're going to talk about the percent of acetic acid that's found in vinegar. And here's your equation for the uh, neutralization that we did yesterday in lab. We have acetic acid plus sodium hydroxide and that reacts to form sodium acetate and water. And as you can see our equation is balanced right now and that's an important thing because we're going to be using stoichiometry to figure out the concentration of acetic acid in vinegar. Everyone had different vinegars, so I hope you wrote down what vinegar you used, and I hope you wrote down the percent that was right on the bottle. All right, so here we go. Let's first look at our data. Our data that we took directly from lab yesterday says that the volume of vinegar in the beaker was 9.90 mils. We're going to want everything in liters, so we're going to divide that by a thousand to get into the liters. It's 0 0.00990 liters. Our burette, we started at 0 0.05 mils and we ended at 16.95 mils, so we use 16.90 mils. Again, you want that in liter form, so it's 16, uh, 0 0.1690 liters. We're going to use that information. Now, I know we haven't gone over molarity in class yet, but molarity is simply a measurement of concentration. Molarity is moles per liter. So, let's try and figure out what we know. First of all, we know the concentration of sodium hydroxide. That was on the bottle that you used and it's 0 0.05 molar, which means it's 0 0.05 moles for one liter. The volume of sodium hydroxide used was 0 0.0169 liters. The volume of vinegar is 0 0.0099 liters. And the concentration of acetic acid is what we're trying to calculate. So let's, like always, start with what we know. And what do we know? We know that we have 0 0.0169 liters of sodium hydroxide. We want to get rid of we want to get rid of liters of I'm sorry, yeah, liters of sodium hydroxide. And we want to be left with moles of sodium hydroxide. Now, if you remember, I, we talked about molarity being moles per liter. So this number right here is going to tell you that in one liter you have 0 0.05 moles. Let me erase this so I have a little room to do some more work. Because right now I have moles of sodium hydroxide and what I need are how many moles of acetic acid we had. So I'm going to get rid of moles of sodium hydroxide. I'm going to be left with moles of acetic acid. By using our equation you see that it's one to one ratio. That makes it easy to calculate. So we have 0 0.00085 moles of acetic acid. Now we were asked to calculate concentration of acetic acid. So when we want to concentrate, uh, con we want to calculate concentration, it's moles per liter. So all you do is divide this by the number of liters of vinegar that we used. We used 0 0.0099 liters of vinegar. When you divide those two numbers out, you have 0 0.94 molar acetic acid, and that's your concentration. Now you did this lab three times. You did it three different times. You're going to have three different numbers here and three different numbers here. So please make sure when you do your lab report, you've calculated it three times. Thanks, and have a good day.